Hey guys, welcome back to the podcast. I'm Ronnie. And I'm Nas. And we are New Girls on the Block. Mm-hmm. So, this week we're going to be talking about attachment styles. Yes. The four of them. We're going to go through all of them. But before we start, yeah. let's go over our weeks. Yes. So, what you been up to? So, this week that just passed was my birthday yes. week. Yes, turn up, turn up. Yes, so on my birthday, my birthday was on Tuesday mm-hmm. the 11th. Uh, because when we film this, when we upload, it's probably gonna be the next Tuesday, but it was on Tuesday 11th. On my birthday, I just hung out with my husband, we mm-hmm. went to like a um, park and just did all the little things that I like to do yeah. throughout the city and stuff. I went to um, Erewhon, I got a nice smoothie, Period. then we got lunch to eat at the park. We had a little picnic at the park, it was cute, Y'all it was so fun. cute, yeah, <laughs> my idea. <laughs> Nah, but um, yeah, it was just a really nice day. I just was like, let's just go do everything that I like to do. And he was like, yes. alright, and I'm like, period. Your let's coastal go. baddie lifestyle. <laughs> yeah. I feel it. So I just had a little vibey birthday, but then the weekend it was my mom's birthday too. So we did like a combo mm-hmm. birthday bash and went to Long Beach. I rented a hotel out in Long Beach, like right on the beach, and it was just, it was so nice. Girl, we uh, we found Epstein Island, y'all. <laughs> You're gonna have to bleep that out. <laughs> yeah, we found island, but it was like these different random islands on the uh, coast of Long Beach. Yeah, and it, you to- did you tell me? You're the one who told yeah. me what they when really I looked were. Them up, it's oil rigs, y'all. They got yeah. the oil right off the coast of but Long Beach. But they try to make it look like cute little islands. I'm like, dang, this seems like, is that yeah. like vacation spots? I but thought it was Bill Gates over there. <laughs> one of them white men. Yeah, on but. their own private island. I was like, okay, but. They it's just oil keep rigs. it surrounded by trees. Yeah, so trying to it make it nice. look cute, but it's really them trying to finesse some money out of the ocean, the usual. In the environment. Yeah, but overall, I had a really nice weekend. We all went to dinner and then just vibed. And then the next day, we went swimming. And then I don't know if y'all are familiar with it. The black people probably who watch this <laughs> probably are. But saltwater cornbread in LA, it's like a. a it's called saltwater or hot water. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> hot water cornbread, yes. y'all. Not, we don't eat salt water cornbread. Right <laughs> I'm like, wait. Yeah, don't take, because I'm not familiar with the southern food. It's, you never have hot water cornbread? I did, but I didn't oh, like it. Me neither. It's shit nasty. nasty. Yeah, yeah, like, why is it not sweet? I like it's cornbread nasty. to be sweet. And this is just, like, oily. And greasy. Yeah, and just like, weird. Mm-hmm. No offense to y'all Southern, because y'all, y'all could like it. My uncle eat it. My family eat yeah, it. Yeah, that was my, my dad's side was, like, the, the people from Indiana. They they made that. But mm. I tried it. I'm like, Not this ain't me. for me. Like, what do I even eat it with? Yeah. It ruined the whole taste of everything. <laughs> yeah. Like, I do not like that. It's not good. But <laughs> <laughs> the event is called that. And then... We pull up. He he even said in the story like, "Oh, don't come late. Make sure y'all come early." We like he finessed it. Mm-hmm. He lying, girl. When we pull up, that line was around like nearly two blocks around. I'm like, Mm-mm. let's turn around. Yeah, <laughs> let's turn around because I'm and not. Mind waiting. you, it's like 90 degrees on Sunday. It was so hot, and I was already burnt out from air. like we went swimming earlier. We went, we ate like it was just so much stuff going on in the day. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, oh, it's my birthday weekend. I might as well <laughs> just try to yeah. like keep pushing but i was just like yeah no when i seen that line i'm like i'm never standing in a line like that ever for anything so i don't really if if, if it was drake in there i would have been like i'm turning around if it I was anybody to the front like what's up How? <laughs> <laughs> somebody let me yeah. in <laughs> hey, aubrey yeah aubrey. but um me and my mom ended up leaving but my sister she finessed her way in Period. she didn't have to stand in a line her um her friend and my little sister ended up finessing their way in i was already burnt out so i was like Kudos to y'all. I mm-hmm. hope y'all have fun. But for me, I'm in my house. I'm chilling. I'm here. Spirit, y'all. For real. And after that, I had that night I had the best sleep. Because I just felt like I did so much that weekend. Mm-hmm. And it was just like a refresh. And I just slept like a baby. Yeah. So that was my week wrap up. The only other thing I fixed on my patio to be summer ready. Even though it's like middle of summer. But I finally did it. <laughs> Girl, in LA, we got into like September. End True of September. Though. Yeah. I feel like it'll start cooling down until Halloween time. True. So I got time. And even yeah. in Halloween time, I'm going to chill out there. So, so it was nice, just. Make it nice and spooky. Yeah. So I just was like. 
I'm gonna take the time to finally do it and I finally did it still some little kinks I gotta do but overall that was my week how about you um my week was good of course I spent time with my bestie Yay! for her birthday weekend that was really fun mm -hmm. um I don't even remember what I did during the week I never remember my week um I feel like it was my first week at a new job yeah. i'm gonna just say it because i don't care about period the class no more. i'm gonna wipe that shit off my shoulder only moving like, forward yes we mm. don't acknowledge the, well we do acknowledge the past yeah but, but we move it. on yeah <laughs> we move yeah um so yeah i just started a new chill little job mm -hmm. i like it um it's just really laid back and it yeah. gives me the time and the ability to do other things to spend more time with the podcast yeah. to spend more time on myself and that's the weird. relationships around me like i just feel like very relaxed laid back so that's good that is um what else mm, what else did i do mm, i don't know y'all yeah. you're gonna have to catch me next week because <laughs> I, I must have had a good week if I don't remember yeah, it. Yeah, and it must have uh, been chill. It wasn't yeah. nothing crazy. I don't think it was anything too crazy that yeah. happened in my life this week. Yeah, but next week will be very eventful. Really? No, I don't know. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> no, crazy but I'm standing here first, y'all. I'm about to start bartending. Oh, yeah, I've period. been applying to jobs. Yes. Like, um, I'm going to go to the one that... Um, your mom was telling me yeah. about over the weekend, this weekend. So, yes, soon I would be up in a bar. So, yes. if y'all in L.A., y'all got to make sure y'all come tip me. Uh-huh. Uh, I'll let y'all know. Which one? When, <laughs> when I get the job. But just saying it here now, we manifest. And then we manifest exactly. Queens. I think I'm going to get into that. But yeah. I, I need to get my bartending license first. No, the crazy part is when I go on interviews, and a lot of people that I talk to that bartend, they don't... Um, they don't have a certificate. They oh. have experience as long as you know. But if you don't have no experience, then maybe you should go. I'm just kidding. But girl, I'll give you my flashcards. <laughs> ah, I'm but, gonna learn. And we could get some bottles and like practice and yeah. do different stuff. But I was thinking today I need to um, get a bar kit so I could start doing little pop up events. We'd be oh, going to all these different things. I feel like I could set up myself up a booth or even like work at like how they have the bar at the black flea market. yeah i was about to say that they usually have bars at all of these little yeah events so and i could do that and mm -hmm. then my friends be throwing parties so like if i have my own bar kit and i already know people who be having the liquor on the low yeah oh so, period period the come up and get some cards like um shana was telling me today even if i do one pop-up event or even if i do like a um we're going to talk about it after. Yeah, I'm yeah, not yeah. about to give y'all no free game. Yeah, this no free shit. game. I'm but, you. <laughs> but yes, all in all, my weekend was good. Yeah. It was full of like, it was productive. That's I feel good. like that's why I can't really pinpoint exactly what mm -hmm. I did. It was very productive. I'm still in work mode. That's good. And yeah, like it was good. Mm -hmm. And we love those type of weeks. Mm -hmm. Period. Productive, leisure, fun, mm -hmm. all well-rounded. So... Yes. Let's hop into this topic yes. of attachment styles. So they say that there are four attachment styles. And yeah, I have them pulled up right here. So the first one is secure attachment style. The second one is avoidant attachment style. Mm -hmm. The third one is anxious attachment style. And the fourth one is disorganized attachment style. Yes. Yeah, so off top, do you think that you like relate to any of these? So I did like a little bit of research on them and I did a little test. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that test was so biased. It was like one, like we were talking, it was like one good answer and the yeah. rest are all just like negative. So it's like I How feel do like I it kind of points you in a direction to like, okay, if I choose this answer, I'm it's definitely going to get this. Yeah, like, and I don't, I don't feel like it was a full good test to figure out, but I got, what did I get? Anxious, I think? I think I got anxious. <laughs> and I felt like they're kind of dramatic because I am not that tight. Like they try to say, so let me, let me read you guys what anxious. anxious. Okay. Let me just pull it up. Uh... So, anxious, attachment style, fear of rejection. I could say 
<laughs> they got me on that one. <laughs> but fear of abandonment and depending on your partner for validation and emotional regulation. Co- okay, they kind of reading me. <laughs> <laughs> they reading you down. Lucky, I'm like, hold on. <laughs> but okay, then it says how it develops, and it says alternated between overly coddling and detachment or indifferent, easily being easily overwhelmed, been sometimes attentive and then push you away made you responsible for how they felt so oh that's like how if you're in a relationship how somebody could have made you this way mm. by the things that they do how it could affect you to be more of an attachment and when i was reading y'all it did say that these attachment styles they don't just form when you're in like y'all adult relationships Mm -hmm. they literally start off at home when you're a child based on like how your parents is raising you and your developmental stages yeah so if your mom was out here leaving y'all going to the club Mm. you may be a little anxious yeah because you're not used to somebody being stable and steady in your life yeah continue yeah and then the signs it says clingy clingy tendencies high sensitive to criticism need approval from others jealousy tendencies difficulty being alone low self-esteem feeling unworthy of love intense fear of rejection significant fear of abandonment and difficulty trusting others so this list i'm like okay they're kind of reaching because i'm i don't i don't align myself (laughs) with a lot of these kind of behaviors yeah i'm like okay they're kind of that's the little breakdown at the first i was like okay they kind of getting me but i that's why i feel like these are probably not just like okay you're just fully just this yeah you're just fully just that i feel like they kind of focus on one aspect of that attachment style if Mm -hmm. that makes sense yeah because this sound horrible yeah i'm like dang (laughs) like what clingy high sensitive to criticism okay i mean I can take criticism. I'm looking <laughs> at the man in the mirror. <sighs> but I don't need approval from others. I don't feel like I need approval from others. I don't feel like I have jealous tendencies. I don't have a difficulty being alone, but I do like... Okay. Like, I like my own time and my own space, but I do like to be around people, too. Um, I don't have low self-esteem, because... <laughs> I'm that girl. Face card never declining. Y'all, I just feel like I just boost myself up. I just feel like good all the time. (laughs) Yeah. So I definitely don't feel unworthy of love. And I don't have an intense fear of rejection. I do have a slight fear of rejection, but it's not intense. Like, I feel like I could. I feel like you have a normal amount for girls. Yeah. And like your personality is just like kind of not passive, but laid back. Yeah. So you're just not like. I'm not fighting for much. Like, yeah. it's just like, not like that, but I'm not like, yeah. And it's like, oh, no. And then it's like, oh, no. I just, like, feel like what's meant is meant. So I'm not really, like, but that's just, like, relationship-wise. I don't have a fear of rejection in, like, jobs or anything, stuff like that. Like, I'm like, if it's meant to be, it's meant, you know. Yeah. But I'm not going to just throw myself out there, like, you know. Just to get shut down. Yeah. And I don't have a fear of abandonment. I feel like... I don't know that seems kind of dramatic for me and i could say i have somewhat difficulty trusting others but more so like people who i'm like i don't know just meeting i don't really bring new people in the yeah office. and i feel like it's just because people be acting weird you know it's like I don't ever want it to be like, why are you acting weird? I feel like you're good at making friends, but you do keep your same like circle. And I think yeah. it's because you're so close to your family. Yeah. But I don't think you're like so anti to when you go to work or you're at school or something or out yeah. and about. You can't talk to people. Yeah, you're, exactly. You're pretty friendly. Yeah, I think but so. But <laughs> I just feel like you're just so used to like your own circle and it's yeah. solid enough to where you're just like. Yeah, it's kind of like. I don't know. Not saying it's no... I just feel like now that I'm older and I'm, like, in, like, different type of, like... I have my family relationship, I have friendship relationship, mm-hmm. and I have my partner. It's, like, I don't need too much engagement and too mm-hmm. much things going on when I'm trying to focus on, like, the things that really matter, you know? Yeah, and it'd be a lot. Yeah. People want to hang out. Yeah, it's, like... Not guilt, but, yeah, it's, like, case yeah. of guilt because it's just, like... And then it's, like, because I have a tendency, and I feel like we both are like this. Like, we just kind of, like, ghost and then, like, just be to ourselves. And yeah. I feel like that could rub people the wrong way. It's, like, 
but I would never want a friend. Not say it like that, but mm-hmm. I would. I wouldn't want it to be like. Where you, you know, at? yeah, like, oh, what, like, you didn't hang out, you didn't talk to me today, like, ah, oh, no, Maybe like, yeah, like, I just feel like I'm not into that type of friendship. Mm-hmm. I just like, like, we're friends and we're close friends, but we don't have to just be like in each other's face. Codependent, and yeah, or just like, uh, even I don't know, it's some friends you can hang out with all the time, yeah, and it's some people you can't, like, yeah, you don't care to hang. I don't know, it's. It's, it's levels. It, it is. And I feel like I'm I feel like I'm the type of friend that don't try to hang out with me every day. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to be there. I'm going to start thinking you crazy. Yeah. Like, just don't. I, I'm just not that type of friend. So, I feel, I feel like, like, I guess that's a way of just not fully putting trust in somebody. Like, I don't know. But, yeah. Okay. That's what my breakdown is. The test said that you were this. Do you feel like you identify with another um, attachment style? Or do you feel like that's the closest to where you're going to get i feel like i'm a mix of this and secure because mm-hmm. i do feel very confident in like the relationships i have the signs of secure is <clears throat> ability to regulate your emotions and i feel like i've gotten a lot better at mm, i've always been able to regulate my emotions and kind of if i feel like i'm getting to a point where it's like hmm how to say it like i'm getting to a point where i'm like kind of going crazy like mm-hmm. in my mind it's like why am i acting like that then i cut, kind of like pull myself to the side and like check in with yourself yeah i kind of like know how to regulate regulate my emotions mm-hmm. i know that certain stuff that i could say could affect make something bigger than what it is it's gonna be like a small feeling at the moment yeah. instead of like just putting my emotions out there and then making it worse a situation so you're not sending no long text no so (laughs) i just feel like i'm able to really like just kind of like see where and if it's necessary yeah but if it's not necessary and if i'm just tripping i could see like okay i'm tripping let me pull back and let me just reevaluate what i'm doing because i'm more of like a logical thinker i make Mm -hmm. sure everything is kind of like logical and makes sense before i'm out here looking crazy because i hate to look crazy and i I don't know i just don't like to look crazy but um easily trusting others i can say that like i said i kind of do have a hard time trusting others Mm -hmm. not a hard time but i just don't put my trust in everybody yeah and i just feel like that's yeah that's like logical thinking you can't trust everybody but um, effective communication skills. I feel like I'm a good communicator at the times where I need to be. Um, ability to seek emotional support. I think I do. Like, if I'm feeling the type of way, I'm very vocal about just, like... Being, talking through it. Yeah, talking through it and, like, finding balance. Um, comfortable being alone at times. <laughs> at times, I could get, like, oh, bored. But overall, I'm very comfortable being alone. And I like to have my alone time. Mm-hmm. Um... Comfortable in close relationships, very comfortable in close relationships. Um, ability to self reflect in partnerships, I'll say yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Being easily connected with, I think so. I don't really, I don't know, I think I'm easily connected with. Yeah. Um, ability to manage conflict well, I would say yes. High self esteem, yes. <laughs> but uh, ability to be emotionally available yeah <laughs> so i feel like i align with a lot of these and secure and i align with i can say i do align with some of the anxious, anxious i'm not even gonna lie <laughs> yeah okay okay, okay. what so, about you i feel like i definitely fall into like more than one category yeah so with avoidant attachment styles it says well first how it develops it says your caregiver caregiver may have Left you to fend for yourself, expected you to be independent, reprimanded you for depending on them, rejected you when expressing your needs or emotions, been slow to respond to your basic needs. So that's just like a overall. I definitely relate to that kind Mm -hmm. of because my godmom who raised me. Yeah. I know she loved me, but she was very like, not cold because I knew like she took care of us. She made sure we ate. She did stuff. We laugh, we had good memories, but it was never like a I love you. Yeah, or we I never got it. like uh-huh. a lot of hugs or anything like that. Yeah. And she doesn't really show emotion. Like she'll get upset or cry or laugh and stuff, but she yeah. doesn't really be like, You made me feel like this, da da da. Oh yeah. She kinda gets either upset or she has the thing where she does the silent treatment 
where she just ignores. And I feel like even mm. me, yeah. I do that now. Mm-hmm. And I'll be having to catch myself because I'm like, this is definitely a learned behavior. Yeah. And I would just like, I've had situations where I literally would get mad at somebody if I'm dating and literally not speak to them for like two or three days. Yeah. When we're staying in the same space. Mm. You go two or three days? I fall at the like yeah. And I'll be, be trying. Talk, but I be like you gonna have to. Talk. But I feel like that's one of my younger days. I don't yeah. feel like I'm like like that anymore. I feel like I've caught myself doing that once. Like yeah. just be like we could just not talk about this and like walking away. But I literally walk back into the room and was like, I'm sorry. Yeah. I do that sometimes because I get upset. Like mm-hmm. I actually recognize that that part of it yeah but i could definitely resonate with like a few of those ones yeah i feel like when i'm reading it i could too at because it was different for me and my like me and my mom's relationship and mm-hmm. me and my dad's relationship my dad was very affectionate mm-hmm. he was very like he would give hugs and kisses like forehead kisses and stuff like that so i got that from that but i'd never got rid like hugs and stuff from my mom or mm-hmm. like the i loves yous i would get that from my dad but not my mom so mm-hmm. it was like a um, you get yeah. it from some kind of area. You're not completely like a devoid of it, yeah. but it's not like coming not from fully, both parents. Yeah, and I felt like it wasn't like you said too. It wasn't void of love. It was mm-hmm. more so that was just how she was raised to, and yeah. she's Jamaican. I feel like Jamaicans just kind of are like that. I don't yeah. know. It's like I can see that really like sternish type energy and type of like I don't know. From what my partner tells me about British people, mm-hmm. they're very like kind of cold mm. and standoffish and yeah. like it's very like it should be like this like they're all about the order of things oh yeah and a lot of times when i think of like jamaicans i feel like they have some of the same like um tendencies not, yeah which? tendencies mm-hmm. so maybe that's where it i think come so because they were taken over by yeah Britain. So, so i think that's where that comes from yeah it, she probably experienced that where her parents like it wasn't really like so that's how just she was. But I feel like as we got older, we talk about it more. And we, like, mm-hmm. we're kind of, it's, it's crazy because, like, now that I'm older, we're growing into more of, like, the I love yous and, like, mm-hmm. oh, hugs and, you know, like, being, like, yeah. friendly and And I feel loving. like this generation, I always say it, we break in cycles. Yeah, like, I definitely. definitely, when I'm on the phone with my godmom, I know she probably gets annoyed how much I say it, but I'd be like, I love you, bye. Like, oh and yeah, like, I love you. Like she never be like, "Why do you say it so much?" But yeah, yeah, like it's starting to be. I have to. Yeah, and I think that helps for both parts. It helps mm-hmm. for us and for them to grow out of. Yeah, you their know. old habits. Cause yeah, it's just habits. Mm-hmm. And I don't think it's no ill will. But um. Okay, so that's how you get them. What are the signs? Let's get into it. Yes, the signs are persistently avoid <clears throat> emotional or physical intimacy. Feel strong mm. sense of independence, are uncomfortable expressing your feelings, are dismissive of others, have a hard time trusting people, feel threatened by anyone who tries to get close to you, spends more time alone than interacting with others, believe you don't need others in your life, and commitment issues. I feel like they just... True. No, I'm going to say no. Nah, I, I only relate to like one or two. Yeah, that don't there. sound like you at all. Yeah. I do have, like I was saying when I was reading over it earlier. Yeah. I know I need people, but I have like a, I don't know if it's because I see my godmom be independent or because I'm the oldest kid, but I feel oh, like, yeah. like, regardless, I have to figure it out for myself. Mm. And I feel like I do get attached to people, but there's like, I always have it in the back of my head, like. I can't depend on nobody. At the end yeah. of the day, I have to depend on myself. I have to go out and get it by myself. And, like, it's not... It's almost like I'm expecting to be disappointed. So yeah. why even depend on somebody and mm. give them the reason to disappoint you? Just, like, if I have myself covered, like, it's I won't no. have to deal with that kind of stuff. Yeah. But... I could see that, especially with being the older mm-hmm. uh, child. I'm the middle child, so I don't feel like... I, I can see that how my sister is as mm-hmm. well. Like, she's very independent. And she, like, it's times I depend on her. And mm-hmm. it's like, oh, at least I have that to fall on in. Mm-hmm. And I feel like that's probably how your siblings feel about yeah, you as I well. Yeah, I feel like the older siblings, especially if it's a girl, they kind of yeah. play the second mom role. Exactly. So, yeah. And I think that ties into 
the reason and why being more like hyper independent yeah yeah because sometimes it's hard i feel like damn i'm tired yeah i do not want to do this but you got to keep going yeah but it, i feel like when you do find relationships where you could be vulnerable to being dependent or even like i can't say because i know like like i said i was dependent on uh siblings and like i feel like even my older, because my sister's the oldest one of my mom, but mm-hmm. my dad had other um, kids as well who are mm-hmm. older than her, but it wasn't like same family. I feel like the same family, like within a household, mm-hmm. was the reason why she felt so like that. But even with me and my older, older siblings, I I was, I used to live with my older brother. Like, I was mm. like, can I come live with you? Yeah. When I was in college, and they were like, yeah, come live with me. And then my older sister, I was like, can I work with you? She gave me, like, an j- internship job. And I felt like I was always able to depend on others. So that's kind of why I feel like um Secure and those yeah, kind of Yeah, and I, and I don't... Um, the only thing for me is I don't like owing. Yeah. I think that's the only... I that's, hate owing too. anything. I don't even like credit, to be honest. Like, that's why I refuse. I got one credit card. Yeah. Three. I refuse... I don't like feeling like I owe anybody yeah. anything, even an explanation. Mm. Like, mm-hmm. I don't like explaining myself to yeah. people. Like, if it makes sense, it makes sense. Yeah. But I hate when people be like, when they try to find out stuff without directly asking you, mm. that, like, mm, that's like a pet peeve of mine. <laughs> yeah. Like, why are you my business, first uh-huh. of all? And then it's just like... <laughs> I just don't feel like I should have to explain myself for things that I like. Yeah, I don't, I don't like that shit at all. Yeah, like I feel like for me it's just more like oh, and people like oh, I, you did this for me now you now you owe me and it's like I don't know I don't I, so mm-hmm. I try not to that's what I try not to depend on people of like either money money I'm like I gotta get it and it gotta be. Yeah minds or being that um me and my husband together it's like we figured out yeah, yeah. i don't want to reach i don't like to reach out i don't me like neither. to like oh i don't know because it's like now i feel this burden that i have to for sure because i no matter what i'm gonna pay somebody back mm-hmm. I'm, i hate having to owe people money but um i just feel like now it's just a burden on me i don't like that burden yeah, feeling. feeling like dang now i gotta catch up and yeah. run even faster it's yeah, right. I mm-hmm. don't like borrowing money either or asking people for stuff. Mm-hmm. But those few times I have done it, I make sure, like, as soon as that check clear, you yeah. get a first payment so you can't talk to me about nothing. Yeah. And I hate people. Like, my, um, I've had experiences with my biological mom when we get into it and she'll, like, well, I did this, this, this. Exactly. And I'm just like, girl, that's what you're supposed to do. Yeah. Like, leave me alone. Uh-huh. Like, I, I feel that. Because I feel like for me, <clears throat> I just don't like, I'm like a super like person who like cares about fairness. And mm-hmm. I feel like if it was the other way around, I wouldn't want nobody really like doing that to me. Like mm-hmm. say if I owe somebody money or somebody owe me money and it's like, I don't hear for, uh, that's like, like, don't, don't be like that. Asking you yeah, for money they that's, owe. That's like. when I see stuff like that and I just get, and I feel like I've seen stuff like that and I just get like disgusted, like. Why are you being like this? And even when you like, it could even be like, oh, if you're really down and you could explain that, but if you like, just trying to go, yeah, just like, being um, weird, being, that's weird. It makes you look crazy. It makes you look broken. It makes yeah, you look, it makes you look creepy because now yeah. you're moving weird. Now you got me looking at you weird. Yeah, you're creep, it's like, like how can I? Tr- and that's the thing. Like I don't know. It's like how could I trust you yeah. to even like be honest and like explain yourself and then just like I don't know stuff like that is weird to me. So yeah. I, I, that's the only thing I don't. <laughs> I feel like those are two. Honestly, those are the only two things I really yeah. relate to because I don't feel like I have an issue with intimacy. Uh huh. Actually, now that I think about it, I feel like I actually did used to have a mm. issue with intimacy. Now with my current partner, like I'd be like, yay, yeah. Like, I but I think it's because like I've grown up and I've taken time to like be more secure in yeah. myself. Mm-hmm. And I never thought it was like a non like security in myself before. Yeah. But when I before I was like single for a few years, I feel like even when I was in a relationship, I was very like, like I wasn't like always hugging and oh. kissing. And then I brought it up to the my partner at that time, and I'm like, you're not very affectionate. It makes me like feel like 
you don't like me or you're not yeah. attracted to me. And he was like, you're not affectionate either. Yeah, like, he like, I, like, I was like, and? <laughs> like, but not and, but I had to really, like, be like, oh, I'm not affectionate. It is not yeah. on purpose. I feel like sometimes, like, I'm a person, like, I do acts of service because I mm. like when people do stuff for me. Yeah. But, um... I never realized maybe with my godmom not hooking me always all the time or not being super affectionate, I'm not that affectionate. Yeah. But then again, it's like I'll be like, I'm a hugger. So I feel like I have to grow into like being more comfortable with people. Yeah. And like showing love in that way. But I yeah. Besides Otherwise, that, I don't feel like I really relate to anything else on that yeah, list. Yeah, I feel like the signs be so dramatic, like, with these different uh, styles. It's like, okay, now they just, like, taking it there where it's, like... You look crazy. Be realistic. Yeah, this is, like, really, yeah. like... I feel like it's hard for one person to be all those things. Yeah. And not be, like, mentally ill or something. Yeah, because this seems like, like uh, you really need some... Help. Fixing. <laughs> yeah, but... Um, that's the anxious one. Yeah. Oh, that was no, the, that was the um, avoidant one. Avoidance, yeah. And then anxious, I just feel like when, how you said, like, when I'm really into something, I'm into it. Yeah. I, I get anxiety about certain stuff. Like, what yeah. I was saying the other day when my mouth was super dry. Oh. <laughs> like, I get, like, oh, we gotta re- head a We got to revisit that. But yes, oh, yes. Because <laughs> I did, like, I was thinking about different stuff that happened during my week. I was like, um. Oh. But yeah. yes, uh-uh. <laughs> that's crazy. But yeah. I, I, yeah, I can see that too. Like, I feel like anxiety in the healthy form of like rent, like real life situations. Mm-hmm. But like having anxiety of like, oh, is this person gonna leave me? Is this person gonna do this? Is it's like no, I don't feel like yeah. You, I feel like the only time I feel like mm, I'm like, did I ever even feel like that even in toxic relationships? Yeah, I don't feel like that. Maybe if like. At my lowest of lowest, but yeah. generally because I have like a certain amount of self confidence, yeah. like I just feel like I'm a catch at the end of the day. Like exactly. I'm not about to be sitting here chasing like anybody. I'll I'm, I'm a simp. I'll cry and uh-huh. I'll be like, okay, like I'm. A, I'll work through things with you, but I'm not about to have like you having me out here looking, looking crazy, crazy at yeah. all. Because at the end of the day, it's just like. As a woman, you're the prize. Exactly. And it's like, you can make mistakes, yes. But you shouldn't be... The biggest mistake you could um, make is chasing a man. Yeah! For real, <laughs> sprinkle, though. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, I feel like, because literally, like, men come and go. And I feel like... we, Because I could even say, like, sometimes I do, like, I'm like, oh. Not saying it like that, but, like, some things don't work out. And it's like thinking, like, oh, what if... My relationship don't work. Like, what would I do next? Like, stuff like that. It's like, mm-hmm. but I feel like and that's just kind of like my logical brain thinking of stuff. It's like, mm-hmm. how would I process certain things? Yeah. And how would I get through them? But just like, I don't know. I, and I, it could even be like, maybe that could tie to something like deeper. But I just feel like I always kind of think of how would I process the next move if something, you know, was to like not happen. Up, yeah, working out. You know what's weird? Um, I feel like um, my mind goes to, like, when I have a conflict, and I notice this about friendships and relationships, and yeah. I'm constantly trying to work through it. I feel like when a issue arises, like, um, and that might be, I don't know if it's the anxious side or the avoidance side, yeah. but, like, when I have disagreements with a friend, in my mind I'd be like, we never about to talk again. Mm, like I would yeah. wanna like go and talk about it, but I'll just be like, once something happens, I'm a very like it is what it is kind yeah. of person. Once I have my mind made up, or if I feel like I'm not in the wrong, I just be like, once I try to talk to you about it, and it's like you don't want to hear it, I just be like, what can I do? Yeah. And then in my mind, I automatically be like, it's like I have to prepare for a funeral. Yeah. Like, and I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Mm-hmm. I feel like sometimes it could be bad because it's like you're you're kind of already ready for somebody to just fuck up. Yeah. But I feel like it's like a mechanism to like protect yourself. Maybe I think from that's like, what it uh, is. Avoiding being like abandoned maybe. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't know. 
maybe it do mm. tie to somebody's mm. deeper. I'm like, so yeah, like once you get into it, like like your subconscious and like memories, because yeah. it doesn't always have to show up in a romantic relationship. Uh-huh. But even, uh, even like when I was recently having issues with my partner, mm-hmm. I feel like as we were going through it, and when I didn't have clarity, my my brain also automatically goes to well it's probably not going to work out even if i want it to work out yeah. and i'm consciously doing efforts for it to work out i feel like i ha- always have to like p- prepare myself for like okay what's the if next? it don't work out you got to be okay and you got to be able yeah. to keep going so. i think that's i do the same thing it's like even i've been in a relationship for a very long yeah. time and i've i still have that type of like I'm a fine. I yeah. I gotta move. Like I don't know, mm-hmm. and, it, and it could be even like one of these, like one a defense of these, mechanism. Yeah, defense mechanism for just protecting my feelings. And I feel like as a cancer mm-hmm. woman, both oh, it's of our us, shell. Yeah, I yeah. feel like that's probably just what it is. It's more of us trying to protect ourselves and protect our feelings and how we like. I don't know. I feel like it's just protection, and that's why I just feel like I just try to always protect my peace, my feelings and myself more than like thinking of it as like not really because i i think of stuff as logical but thinking of things i just think of all the possibilities yeah you know and it's like how would i move in any of these possibilities and how would i make myself feel better and these made up scenarios in my head that may or may not would never happen (laughs) yeah so that's kind of just I just know I have a tendency of doing that, which I know is probably not the healthiest because it's like, what's the point of really letting your mind wonder? And even in something that could possibly happen in the future and not happen in the future, but it's like, why not just process what you're feeling right now? And and I feel like I do, I could say I hold back on certain emotions and certain like way I respond to certain things because of it too. Like I feel like. I'm like, mm, I don't know. I never get, like, when I feel like I'm getting too, like, like, lovey dovey uh-huh. and, like, too, like, I kind of, like, set myself back. And it's weird because it's like, why am I doing that? Yeah, you're, you're feeling like you're letting yourself fall to yeah, a little too deep. Yeah, and it's, like, weird because I'm, like, literally married. <laughs> yeah. But I always kind of, like, just, like, okay. You know, like I feel like, like it is a because you're very much a kind of person. It's like you give what you get. Yeah, like you're definitely mm-hmm. like if you feel like you're not getting the energy that you yeah are reciprocating or want reciprocated, you're going to reciprocate that energy. Like yeah, okay, you don't want to talk to me, then I'm not talking. Yeah, and I feel like, like we both are like that. So yeah, we, we both will have times where it's like we're not talking to each other, but it's like nothing even happened, and it's like. <laughs> It's like, I'm just like, mm, and he just like, he see that. I'm like, mm, and yeah, he just be like, the mm. vibe. Yeah, it's like a vibe we pick up from each other. I think that's like a Pisces cancer thing, too. Because me and Dana do that. And yeah. we like, we'll feel somebody's energy, and we'll both be quiet. And it's just like. Yeah, mm. it's like, nah, not today. Yeah. I'm not. Like, well, you wasn't saying that to so I'm Yeah, so why am I you. saying something? Yeah. So I think we both have a tendency, and it, it kind of like, but then the next, like, couple hours, it'll be like. You want to break the ice? So yeah, I swear. That's how when you say you could go days. It's like I always have to break the ice. It's like, because I feel like he can. And it was sometimes where I tested it. And I'm like, I'm not going to say nothing yeah. at all. I don't care how much I want to say something. I'm not going to say anything. So it went on. And then he ended up coming to me and tell it, like talking it out. Because this was actually not just like a weird moment of how we both was kind of like, uh-huh. But this is actually like something we had to needed talk. to talk about. Yeah, so I was like, I'm not talking to him until he's ready to come. Yeah, talk to me. that's it. If uh, if not, I'm I, we gonna go weeks without talking because I'm not saying nothing. So luckily, he came to me and actually was the bigger person. <laughs> yeah, because I was not about to be because that situation didn't need me to be the bigger person. Yeah. So yeah, I feel like as long as you're constantly growing, like mm-hmm. um. Yeah, I'm quick to not talk to somebody, but in my relationship now, I'm trying to move past yeah. that. Yeah. Because, like, once you see certain stuff like this, and even when I was reading it, it was like, these uh, tend to stay stable throughout your life. Yeah. You, I really feel like you have the ability to change some of these habits exactly. once you recognize them. Yeah. And if you feel like it's a detriment to you, like, 
you have to be willing to do the work. It's not going to be easy at yeah. all. You're going to have to do a lot of self work. It's going to hurt because the truth hurt. Yeah. Like, Even reading something, I was like, dang. Yeah. Kind of like, reading me. And I'm yeah. Like, mm-hmm. like, I can't relate. But then you start thinking, like, like okay, low key, it like, is. Yeah. Uh-huh. Like, it's a, lo- it's a low key read. Yeah. But I feel like as long as you're actually doing the work that's intentional, that's difficult. You can definitely change these habits. Yeah. And you don't have totally. to get stuck in like, okay, if I end up with like an anxious style, like that's always how I'm going to be. Uh-huh. Once you recognize it, like start to say, okay, I do be acting a little, little weird yeah. when somebody <laughs> um, gives me some attention, I'll be all up on them or yeah. whatever you may resonate with in a negative or a positive way. It's a bil- You have the ability to change it. Like, exactly. You have free will. Mm-hmm. I really feel like once you you but you have to want to change exactly people would say they want to change and don't put the and effort they don't want to really change yeah and i feel like while reading so and even like i i've acknowledged that certain of these things that i see now i've acknowledged it before mm-hmm. and i was trying to work like I'm, I'm still trying to work through some of the like not issues but some of these tendencies that i have and i'm like okay how can i work through this and how can i be more expressive with my feelings how can mm-hmm. i be more open and not be so fearful of hurt and like and i feel like the fear of rejection is something that i'm like really like i resonate with because i'm still trying to break out of that and try to be Mm -hmm. more like actually giving my all and giving like you know my full like putting my full emotions into things Mm -hmm. like whether it's friendships relationships uh like family members and stuff like that like because i even my siblings like they know me for not being the hugger like Mm -hmm. they'll like like uh my little sister and i feel like she it's crazy because she has helped the family be more like loving and giving hugs and stuff yeah she she, comes off as so like to herself yeah but but she is sweet yeah she is the one who will be like and I'm just like, girl, like, no. And she'll, like, hold my hand. I'm like, get off of me. Like, I cannot. I swear. It's like, I'll be like, don't. Like, just leave me alone. Mm-hmm. But then it's like, Ugh, okay. I'm, like, trying to, like, be more mm-hmm. open to, you know, affection yeah. in ways, like, family members and stuff like that. I just feel like it's like, ugh. But then I'm, I'm growing. Yeah. We growing, y'all. Growing and glowing, period. Yeah. That should be our little motto. We For always real. growing and we always glowing. Yes, period. And I'm going a little too much because it's hot in here, y'all. <laughs> it's but, that LA summer. For real. Okay, so it was one more on here that we did not talk about. Wait, yeah, and that is... That was the mixed one, right? The one that the was like two? organization. Yes. So. So, this organization... We was like, okay. Can't relate. Can't relate, but maybe somebody on here will, you know, watching this will. So, this organization attachment style. So, it says anxious disorganization attachment styles is defined as extremely inconsistent behavior and difficulty trusting others. Mm. How it develops is the most common causes of disorganization attachment style is childhood trauma, neglect, or abuse, fear of their parents also is present children with attachment styles may seem confused well this attachment style may seem confused caregivers are inconsistent and often seen as sources of comfort and fear by their children which leads to their disorganized behavior so i was like "Mm." and then these are the signs fear of rejection inability to regulate emotions contradictory behaviors High levels of anxiety, difficult trusting others, signs of both avoidant and anxious attachment styles. See, that's interesting because I feel like I do, re- I relate to more on this list than the list, um, the signs of the other list. But yeah. the whole first paragraph where it actually tells you what it is. Yeah. I don't, that's, I don't relate to that experience at all. I feel like that's where they're kind of like, I don't know how... They this, organized it. Yeah, because this is just an article that we found where it just kind of breaks it down. And um, we don't know how for sure, like, a, like these exact lists are. Because some of these, I'm like, okay. Some of these, I'm like, okay. Yeah. But I feel like, and that's why I feel like each one has something to take from it, I mm-hmm. guess. And it's like, when reading it, it's like, okay, this sounds a little bit like me. 
Because the fear of rejection, that was in another one, too. It's kind of mm-hmm. like a mix they of... They repeat. Yeah, yeah. This one kind of repeats, but the... <laughs> Oh, it says these are health, mental health conditions in adulthood that can be associated with this um, type of attachment style. Mood disorders, personality disorders, self-harm, and substance use disorders. Mm. So, it's like... I feel like, not to like put everybody in one category, yeah. but I feel like that's when you have like a very, very unstable household and you... Um, it just winds up like giving you very like insecure attachments yeah. and then you can't really trust anybody because you didn't really have anybody mm-hmm. so it's hard for you to probably develop relationships that's kind of what i got from that yeah but i can see that for sure mm-hmm. but yeah this one was more of like one that i didn't resonate with too much but i do see signs like i feel like i don't know it's a mix of all of them kind of mm-hmm. it's like something from everyone that I'm seeing that I could work on. <laughs> it's giving tarot card reading or something. Yeah. Like, it's, like, just general enough for you to, like, be like, okay, I get, yeah. I feel this one, I feel that one, I feel and that one. And take notes and take things from it to work on. But I, I do feel like the breakdown of it, because I never really looked into attachment styles before mm-hmm. you mentioned it. I was just, like, going on with life. I didn't really know about, I was thinking it was love language. I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah. Like, let's go, but... I feel like this is a good way. And if you guys are out there ever wanting to look up these um, different attachment styles, I advise you to because I feel like I'm learning stuff about me Mm -hmm. and just like by reading this stuff. I wonder, I want to definitely do more research on the attachment styles. Yeah. But I'm sure the attachment styles is probably related to the love language. Yeah. Maybe your attachment style kind of dictates the way you are personally and then your love language based on that. Is how you treat other people. Yeah, it could be. That seems like it does. They kind of fall hand in hand because, Mm -hmm. like, I guess my love language is more of, like, I always like to be, like, touching. Like, I have to, like, have my foot on someone, like, my partner or, like, my Mm -hmm. hand. It's like we always have to be, like, if we're in the same room, we always have to be touching in a way. Mm -hmm. But now we're, like, intimate, but just, like, my foot gotta be on you yeah i'm gonna put my hand on you or i'm gonna lean on you it's like that's the type of uh love language i feel but that could be attachment issue too yeah attachment style but i i I feel like we should do an episode on love language as well just to break that down and see what our love languages and what the all the love languages are but i feel like that wraps up yeah i feel like that was a good segment y'all should definitely look into Y'all attachment styles. Definitely. Clearly, as we learned, it can tell you a lot about yourself and the Uh way you move in relationships, whether that be with your partner or with your friends. Mm -hmm. It can seep into a lot of different aspects of your life. So I feel like it's definitely worth knowing. Yes. And worth looking into. Definitely. So now moving on to the hot take of the week. Let's get into it. Yes, you wanna start it off? (laughs) Yes. So this week's hot take um is gonna be I hate when I'm at work and people want to be on that family shit. Like, Ooh. too close. Like, I feel like I had to definitely learn that the hard way. And yeah. now that I learn it, I see right through it and I don't Good. like it at all. Mm-hmm. Like, I feel like I more of like, I don't like when they two friends, 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 like, want to hang out and like text and want. I don't know. I feel like. Because I met you through a job, and mm-hmm. we became friends, but I feel like when it's, like, people you know you don't will not regularly hang out with yeah. or regularly spend time with. And it's, like, it. forced. Yeah, I don't like that, but explain more about the family. Cause so, <laughs> I feel like definitely in jobs, you can definitely make good relationships. You can make yeah. friends with people, but I feel like it should come naturally. Yes. I feel like when jobs trying to push that family mentality... It is fake at the end of the yeah. day because at the end of the day, this is a job. They're paying you to be here. None of y'all would be hanging out with me on a regular day Yeah. if I wasn't going to pay to be here. Yes. Like, let's keep it a stack. Uh-huh. And, like, you're naturally going to find friends. Like, we met we met at a job. Yeah. I met um, people at my past jobs that I'm still friends with, even mm-hmm. if I didn't like the job. And I ain't met nobody at my new job. Yeah. But not yet. Yeah, not yet. <laughs> We're gonna keep it optimistic. Yeah. <laughs> but I just feel like even today, like at work, I just started like a new job and I just feel like 
when you're at work and like they have this long meeting like an hour and a half and when they had their first meeting the uh, supervisor kept saying like just get used to the way we talk to each other like we're family so we bicker oh. we go back and forth and stuff that shit was giving me a headache today like they were just go first of all it was a sheet it's yeah. a sheet of information she want to go around the room and she want each person to read a paragraph oh no Girl, i am not a seventh grade if you don't leave me alone i like why oh are we doing God. public reading first of all so that was the first thing that threw me off i hate Second, that so much she's reading the thing and she was like okay person a what do you feel about this hmm person b what did you take away from this person c and it's uh when they give the answer they go they start going back and forth and people just going back and forth well i think it means this well i think it's this did somebody tell the supervisor this means this okay well just send me uh send me the google it and send me the proof so i can know and i'm just like what's what? going on it's given ghetto it's given y'all the a family, waste of time the yes and girl right when this meeting started i wanted to take my break <laughs> and I my break and i was just so irritated like oh, i had a drink of coffee yeah they were just going back and forth they didn't even get through the whole sheet Girl. before they like had to wrap it up and it's just like i just hate people wasting time yeah i feel like when y'all be on that family shit at work it becomes a huge waste of time because y'all want to do stuff that don't matter. Yeah. I am here to make my money. I'm yeah. sorry. And to do I'm your job sorry. duties and not. Yeah. That's not a job like, duty. That's yeah, like. Yeah, like. Mm-mm. I don't. I don't like it at I all. I hate stuff like that. I hate where it feels like I'm in a classroom. I hate where it feels like, mm-hmm. oh, I'm the teacher, y'all the student. And like that type. And I feel like people. People tend to. I don't know what. Fun power trips. Yeah. And I don't know what gets in their head to feel like they should be doing this when they should not that is not how to run a business like Mm -mm. what you going around the room asking all these people these girl i would have been like yeah i might have to this is probably my last week asking like i see i kind of like it's so crazy when you see it because i see one girl she always asking people oh like she asked them personal questions and uh i don't know if it's I don't know what it is, but I notice a few of them, they pry for information from each other. Like, somebody would be like, oh, how you been feeling? I'm sad. Is it because of your family? Is oh it because of your partner? God. Like, what's going on? And it's just like, I know y'all been working with each other for years, but that is so weird. And yes. that's like, like, what kind of boundaries do y'all have or asking? Like, one of the coworkers, he has a child. Um, oh, uh, you know, you're not with your baby mom? No. Why? What happened? <gasps> like, are no. y'all crazy? I hope, and I just, I have been given the energy, like, don't come ask me shit. Yeah, I'm about not nothing. talking to you like, about I my personal look, life. Mm-mm, I don't like that, because they would be so quick weird. to just talk. And that's what I learned from having the last job I have. Girl. That yeah. shit never stays with that person. So Ever. do not tell people your business. Like, especially if you would not have naturally met this person yeah. if you weren't getting paid exactly to be around them and even like mm-hmm. if the relationship developed to be like i don't know like first of all stuff like that should never be talked about in the office, office like yeah. that like and straight off the bat like what like i don't know even like how you said the last job my last job i feel like the group that i was in was way too close and way too like it's like I'm here face. and it made me feel like an outcast for being a regular employee. It's like, yeah. oh, you're not friends. You're not hanging out with us after work. You're not. They would spend like 30 minutes after shift. Do not even clock that as overtime, but working on and then just hanging out. Why am I doing that with y'all? I don't even know y'all. Like most of these people, I didn't even know. Most of these people was like, I don't know. It was weird energy. And I'm so glad that I'm just so glad I just didn't blend well with that group i just Mm -hmm. feel like they were too close to each other and clicked up and too like in each other's lives and business where it's like you know what it be given y'all don't got nothing going on in y'all yes i swear because it's like Like, why do i family yeah why am i why am i in this like have to be like in this when it's work 
I'm here yeah. literally getting money to pay for my, my life. Yeah. And I'm already irritated because I got to come up with this <laughs> bitch every day and get money Girl. to pay my bills instead of being able to just live the way and then I want making, to live. I'm sure by them seeing you not react or not want to tell your business, it's going to make it feel like, oh, she's never, not. Never. Yeah. I feel like that was like another thing I learned. Y'all are not about to make me feel uncomfortable for not wanting to be around y'all. Cause yeah. Because it's just like, I think it's also with really knowing who you are. Yes. And I feel like I've been putting so much time. Like, I don't want to be y'all friends. Like, yeah. I would not hang out with y'all in real life. Like, no shade. But so do you? I just wouldn't see myself. Like, yeah. and then they already invite my first, uh, my <laughs> first week they invited me to have, like, uh, the supervisor leaving next week. So they like, oh, are you coming to the thing? Um, they invited me on Monday. It's Friday. Why would I want to get off of work on a Friday and come hang out with y'all? Like, be fucking for real. Be for be real. Be for real. Like, why would I want to do that? And I said, no, I'm probably going to miss it uh, this week. Maybe I'll catch y'all next time. Yeah. Oh, we're having another one next Friday. Oh, my God. Y'all really serious about this? Like, And that type of stuff is never no. genuine. I feel yeah. like when it's always forced and fast, it's always... Nosy. Tie- yeah, it's just nosy and it's not tied mm-hmm. behind, behind genuine wanting to be friends because yeah. nobody who genuinely genuinely want to be friends is going to be primed for information like that mm-hmm. or asking about like personal details of your life straight off the bat it's like you grow to know somebody yeah. you don't just ask people personal questions like yeah. what i don't like that at all i don't like it either i, I feel like need to practice boundaries i'm not your family yeah i work with you i'm literally paid to be here exactly like, if i did not need this money i would literally leave never, and, and never i'll never speak see to y'all. yeah i would <laughs> never speak to y'all again like i i i totally agree <laughs> yeah and if you're not that person if i still speak to you and i ever work with you yeah yeah you congrats was cool. you yeah was a cool one. but the rest of the people is just like there's no mm-hmm. point i feel like we most of the people that i worked with i just don't align with and i feel like most of the jobs i have like a couple where i was like okay these people are cool but like i said you know how my friend and my circle mm-hmm. is it's not it's i don't tight. yeah i don't like to just invite oh, anybody in and that's good because you yeah. protect your peace i, I never I, hear you talk about oh this girl did this, this, this. yes because i'm yes. like i'm a very protector of my feelings and my personal peace and mm-hmm. my personal boundaries and balance because you should yeah because all that other stuff is just like pointless i feel like it's pointless to really be arguing with friends somebody you're supposed to call your friend about nonsense that don't even matter it's like Mm-mm. no point I have to really consider you family to argue with you and you know yeah. I'm like, and you're still talking after that. Because at this point in my life, <laughs> I do not. Yeah. I'm not falling out with nobody. You falling it, out with yourself. Exactly. Because like, I feel like it's no true and honest unless it's like somebody is really going off the wall. That's the only. And it's like, who's going to go off the wall? Yeah. Like, that's why I'm like, this Mm-mm. is where it's at. I'm, I'm not going off the wall of. Like, something that... Because I'm never making a situation anything more than what it should be. Period. Like, I love that for you. Yeah. It's like, what's the point? Like, Mm -mm. grow out of it. That's okay. Something happened. Eh. It's whatever. Like, it's never that deep. (laughs) Mm -mm. So, yeah. So, lesson of the day. (laughs) Your family is not at work. (laughs) Even if you don't have a good relationship with your personal blood family... Go find some friends. First. Go find some things that you actually like to do. Yeah. Like, maybe if you... Mm, I'm even thinking. If you at a job that you really, really like, and you happen to meet people who really, really have the same interest in you, maybe. then I can see yeah. things. That, and that's how friendships happen. I'm not yeah. saying it's impossible. We still talk to each other, and I have friends mm-hmm. I talk to from jobs. But when you try to force it, it's just not, it's a no-go. Yeah. You'll be in your business. People need to bring back boundaries at work. Yes. And I know everybody want to have a cool, fun work environment. But, but if it's behind, if it's made like fakeness and just all just tied it. behind people just like laughing in your face, but then going to home girl and talking behind your back. Because mm-hmm. that's how most of these jobs be. And it'd be crazy. Yeah. And I, I really would never, crazy. it would be never a point in my life where I would want to or care to do that <laughs> yeah so go outside find some yeah. real friends uh-huh like you don't and have find, to pay for friends and find meaningful friendships and relationships because yeah. 
if it's just tied behind gossiping about the next coworker, coworker, and then the coworker go to that coworker and gossip about you, like that's weird. So Mm-mm. find real friends, y'all. Mm-hmm. Word to Drake, no new friends. <laughs> yeah. So I guess that wraps up our episode. Week. Yes, our yes. episode for the week. I like this episode. I know it was a. I'm excited to do the love language. One. I know because this one was a read for me. I'm like, yes. but. It was a needed one and more of like an eye opener. Like, okay, certain yeah. stuff that I noticed that I do and certain stuff that I noticed that I could work on a little bit more. So if you guys are going through the love languages, comment below which yes. love language you guys fall What's into. Your love yeah. Oh no. What's your attachment style yeah, first? See? <laughs> We already was so Yeah. What's your attachment style? Yeah. Like? Tell us what your attachment style is. We want to know. Make sure you guys are liking, subscribing, commenting, sharing. That yeah. helps. Rate our podcast. Five stars. Y'all listen yes. to Apple Podcasts. Mm-hmm. On Spotify. Wherever y'all listen. Make sure you guys are rating and yeah. liking our video. It helps us out so much. Definitely. Pushes us up so everybody can see us. Yes. Because we what? We growing and glowing. So yeah. Growing and glowing. Help us yes. grow and grow and reach more of y'all. To just, you know, let's all see. <laughs> yes. And let's all build a community together. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but that wraps up our episode. This has been New Girls on the Block. Yes. Bye. Bye.